Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a very exciting one. I know I say that about every video, but we are going to be doing an unboxing and a review on Ariana Grande's new fragrance, God is a Woman. This perfume came out July 29th, and if you got the Ulta ad, you can get more of a look on this perfume, and it is available in stores August 1st. Another thing I like to do is um, if you are iffy about getting the perfume, try to find the Ulta ad. They might have them in stores if you go, or now if you have the Ulta store, you can go and test it. But the magazine always comes with a tester, and you get the perfume, and you get the beautiful picture of her. And I smelled this before I had gotten it, and I was like, oh my god, this smells so good. I'm so excited to try it. So let's get into what you're here for, the perfume. My last perfume reviews on Ana Grande's fragrances. You all seem to really like. My Rem one got over 25,000 views, which I can't thank you all enough for that. So I'm hoping that you all are going to like this video as well. Here is the beautiful girl in all of her glory. Uh, this is the biggest perfume that it came in. It only came in two sizes this time. I got the 3.4 fluent ounces because it matches all the other sizes that I have back here. But I am super excited to open this and smell it and get into it. I, first of all, I love this box. I know some people said that it looked cheap. I love it. I don't know why. I just think, I love this picture of her. And I, I don't know, I just love, I love it, I love it, I love it. So let's take off the plastic wrap. You can get a better look. So here is the box out of the plastic and oh my god this box I just love it so 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 much but I um, do want to note that this is cruelty free which we love that I believe all her others are but this one says on the box this is reusable the reusable base is made from 60% plant based. Um, it is 100% vegan, we have clean ingredients, and is 91% naturally derived. So I'm going to bring you in a little closer so I can show you the perfume a little better before we open it up. Okay, I brought you in a little closer so you can get a better look here, but as you can see, it says God is a woman, Ariana Grande, and it has the floral stuff. And um, the God is a woman and Ariana Grande is actually um, lifted, like you can feel it, it's textured. And then... On the side, like I said, you have all of the clean stuff that she has now made part of her brand. And then you have her beautiful, beautiful face. And then you have her dress on this side. And then on the top, when you open it, it says, God is a woman. And on the bottom, it just says, you know, like the typical, typical, typical stuff that always comes so let's open it up so you open it up and then the tabs on the inside are the floral so then you open it up and there she is let's let's take her out let's take her out oh my god this is so heavy so yep it just the only thing i kind of don't like about her perfumes is i feel like they're never like really in there like I don't know if you could hear it, but like you could hear this rattling around, which is my only complaint about her perfumes, but let's put her box back here. So this is the perfume itself, and I don't hate the bottle. I don't know why people didn't like it. Um, me personally, I like the bottle. Um, it's very, I don't know, just very like sleek um, compared to her other ones. You know, we have the original, her first fragrance ever, which is Ari, and you have this little pom-pom thing. I, I like these bottles. I know some people think it's childish, but I always liked it. So this is her original um, component. And she kept that kind of pom-pom thing all the way until we got to Cloud, and then this is when she started doing the base, and then the perfume is a different thing, which I like. So this is what it looks like like and this is the actual thing that it's in I guess it's, is this supposed to be like a jewel I don't really know what it's supposed to be um this is very gray in person um it's looking very gray on camera but the actual bottle itself is very purple it's looking kind of clear on camera but it is more purple in real life and this comes out like super easy like super easy it is not in there so let's go with the actual perfume bottle now as you can see, it says Ana Grande 
this way as you all can see it says oh hi um it says arna grande on the bottle and like i said this is the 3.4 fluid ounces and then we have this is the lid Ooh. It's just a really basic lid. I do like that it's hard to get off, but not too hard. Like her thank you next. I feel like to this day, I struggle trying to get the lid off of it. But I like the lid, but it is hard to get off. Um, and I think it kind of, it's something as if you touch it, your fingerprints are on it, which is just something to be aware of for like how you like your perfumes to look. But I like the shape on how to spray it. It fits in my hand very nicely and I don't feel like it's too big or too small. I feel like this is a really, really nice size. Let's smell it. I'm so excited to smell it. Okay, so. Oh my god. I inhaled too much of that once. Oh my god, that burned. Oh, my eyes are going to start watering. This definitely right off the bat and from what i could smell on the paper before i got this it smells a lot different than all of her other perfumes um her other smells are kind of like more cutesy if that makes sense i still love them i wear them every day i love sweetly candy which is like the kittiest one if you will i love it so much it's my favorite but this one definitely has a different smell i'm trying i don't really know if i can compare it to somebody like to the others but this, um, I don't know, it just smells more, like, grown up and more, like, a woman. Like, does that make sense? Like, I feel like these are, like, young adult smells. And, like, this is, like, a full-on woman. Like, she's married now, which is crazy. But this is really nice. I feel like this also isn't so, as her others can be. Like, if you, I just spray a lot of perfume, so maybe it's just me. But sometimes, like, I'm not trying to be that girl that you walk past and, like, you get a whiff of her and you're like, oh. I know you're wearing perfume. I don't need to know you're wearing that much. But this is very, very subtle, but also very, very there. So it's just like if you're close enough to smell this perfume, like it's a nice, like, oh, that's, that's a nice smell. I really like it. I'm awful with describing scents. I, if you watch my other perfume videos, you know that I'm over here like, it smells like flowers. <laughs> they all smell like flowers for the most part. But I really, I really like this. I don't know what to compare this to. I'm going to spray her last one on my other wrist just to get a comparison. I also love like the purpleness of this. I know lavender is her favorite color so it's a smelling party. Yeah I would definitely say that this one like you smell it and you're like oh there's the smell. This one you have to smell it and you're just like oh okay I get what you're trying to do here it's very very simple but like I said it's not so simple that you feel like you're not gonna have anything like you can still smell it but it's so like subtle compared to all her others I like it though and I just kind of just it doesn't necessarily smell like you're putting on perfume if that makes sense like it's a very like a clean smell like um like you just take care of yourself you're very like proper if you will and then, like you just have a dainty perfume compared to her other ones you like sniff and you're like oh you're wearing perfume I like the smell of it but like you're definitely wearing perfume I'm gonna google the notes of this perfume so I can give you a little roundabout of what this is actually supposed to smell like instead of my awful description so I'm on the Ulta website and it says the fragrance family it, it, it is in is fruity musk keynotes is top is amber Brett, I don't know how to say that, don't come for me. Juicy Pear in the middle is Turkish Rose Petals and Oris. Base is Vanilla and Creamy Cedar Wood. Am I the only one that you read like what perfumes are supposed to smell like? And I'm just like, I, I no, like, <laughs> like why, why, if you're looking at the, at what it's describing, why is it Juicy Pear, Vanilla, Cedar Wood, and Rose Petals? Like that doesn't smell good like if you think of it in your hair like that's not gonna smell good but I like the smell of it also right now on uh, if you buy the fragrance online I think it's online only till the 21st of August you get a free choice of duffel bag or backpack with any $60 fragrance purchase so I mean if you can kind of see it that bag there I think it's ugly, but that's me. I <laughs> I am very disappointed though that we didn't get no like 
um, free gift that was Ari inspired, like with the last one we had like a light or thank you next had a whole bunch like air cases, socks and like bags and all this other stuff. Sweet like candy had special things, like everything had like different things. Cloud had a whole bunch of things. So I'm a little disappointed that we didn't get any Ariana Grande specific like free things for buying the perfume but I do think that this is gonna look nice on the shelf but the thing is I miss miss ponytail I love you I really do but <laughs> I'm running out of room I don't have any more room for all your stuff this is the whole purpose of me getting this vanity was because I wanted all her perfumes on display so now we're gonna have to put her in her place and I don't know where to put her <laughs> because I don't have enough room but I did want to show you one more time it out of the box. Yeah, so um, it, this is also a very different box size than the others. Um, I will give you a comparison in a minute. But I like this packaging so much and it might be my favorite if I'm being honest. Um, the perfume shape is not my favorite, but this, I, I still like it though. But this box, I love this box so much. It's so pretty. So let's go and see if we can make room for her with her other siblings. Yeah, so here's a better look. We have, I have Ari, Sweet Like Candy, Frankie, Sweet Like Candy Limited Edition, Cloud, Thank You Next, um, and then R.E.M. over here. I don't know why this is backwards. As a box comparison, as you can tell, um, this box is a whole lot different. Uh, normally her ones are more square and um, thicker. This one is more long than the others so she is gonna have to go over here and I'm gonna have to move my makeup brushes which I'll have to figure this out I'm gonna put her face as the as what you are seeing and then you just where's the yeah oh, I forgot to say um it has um Ana Grande on the thing too I did not notice that until now so I guess the perfume should really go this way you put her there and here she is it does look a little weird I'm not gonna lie because as you can see like it is a very different box shape um, but I think they look good oh my god this is so great I love this I love all her perfumes so much I'm obsessed I am obsessed so here's her new home Okay, and I just wanted to put in that being cruelty free does mean a lot to me. I own a little bunny. I actually have two. My female is one in here. But I own a bunny, so it is very important for me to have things that are cruelty free. So I'm very glad that this is now being a big change, and I hope that continuing things stay the same. And being vegan is, like, really cool. But that is it for today's video. I think that I covered all corners and all the ground of this perfume and I hope that you can now make a nice decision on whether you want this or not. If you have any questions go ahead and comment them down below and I can try to answer your questions if I have the answer. But I think that is all that I have. I do have a small business. I make Ana Grande and Taylor Swift and Harry Styles and Selena Gomez inspired stuff. You can check that out. Everything will be linked down below. You can follow me on Instagram and my Twitter which are linked down below if you just want to keep an update on me. I love you guys so much, and I can't tell you how much that your support means to me. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next one. I love you guys. Bye.